I, li I like to think it's a bit of a haven. It's um, it's a room that's sort of it's open all the time. Players come in and, and sit down and chill out. Not always just to have a talk. Just sometimes to have a lie down over there and, and have a wee sleep or the, the 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 work hard, play hard thing along there. It's when I first started here, uh, 2004. I started with the, getting the signatures of the team. So that's the 2004. Just worked through. I said I was going to retire when I got down to the end, but I might actually cancel that now because it's getting a bit close. When I came in here, um, the, the room was empty. It was there was nothing in it at all. Errol um, had a bit of his own stuff around it, and he took it with him, including a door over there that he had signed by the uh, by every All Black or something he'd ever been through the time, and he took the door as well. So I've tried to carry on his tradition and, and got a few uh, a few a few signatures on there of people that represented New Zealand. Just come along at the uh, the girls team guys here, Olivia Cody. The door's missing, yeah, yeah, I had to get a new door. It's okay, there's John Roach, he's oh, very, very me. special man. Me. There's probably every Canterbury training jersey and playing jersey and Crusader playing and training jersey since I've been here. It's really good, they all, they've all got a memory, they, uh, they all mean something. I've got, a couple, I've got two sons who are both psychologists and I, and I think that uh, their, their knowledge might have rubbed off on me and I, I know how to talk to these boys now. Usually the advice is go and front them up and sort them out. I make some protein shakes and that up for the boys after trainings and they're in here, got to dishwash it and wash their bottles each day. It's not looking after children. Oh, it is, yeah, I feel like a mother sometimes. I was a policeman for 30 years before uh, before coming here. There's a lot, a lot of teamwork and um, and just being mates and, and working together, working for each other. There's a lot of similarity there. Um, only thing, the only difference is here, people thank you for what you do. When you're a cop, they, they usually <laughs> abuse you for what you do. <laughs> a cup of tea. Yeah, the abuse you get here is usually uh, is a good natured and uh, you just shrug it off. I've been here probably longer than, than most of the players. I think uh, Richie and Corey Flynn and Dan Carter were the only guys here when, when I started that are still here. I uh, heard some great stories and uh, yeah, just, just I just give on what I know, give the advice that I can and if someone wants advice, well, you can only help them out the best you can.